Star Citizen is a bit of a dense game and can be somewhat intimidating for new players who are just getting into it. With the release of the new 3.15 patch, I've put together a short guide to help new and returning players get into the verse, along with some tips and tricks I've learned along the way. If you haven't done so already, the first thing you will want to do is make an account on the RSI website. Use the referral code in the video description to get 5,000 extra starting credits when creating your account. You can also feel free to join my Discord server, where many people are happy to help new players get into the game. That link can also be found in the video description. Once your account is made, you will need to acquire a starter package. Your cheapest options are the Mustang Alpha and the Aurora MR starter packs, both running about 45 USD when they are not on sale, though during this IAE, they should be on sale for about $40. After purchasing your starter pack, download and install the game. I recommend installing the game on a solid state drive, as this will massively improve your load times and performance. Sit back and relax, it'll probably take a while. When everything is installed, updated, and ready to go, you'll be greeted with the main menu screen. Select the Persistent Universe, and you'll be prompted to enter character creation. Your character can be edited at any time, so don't worry about getting them too perfect the first time. Once your character's appearance is complete, you can choose your starting spawn location. Select the Stanton system, then choose your starting city. There are currently four locations you can choose from. The Cyberpunk District of Area 18, the Industrial City of Lorville, the sleek and futuristic New Babbage, and the glorious cloud city Orison. Orison and New Babbage are typically a little laggier than the other locations, so I personally recommend starting at Area 18 or Lorville. After waiting for everything to load for your selected location, you will spawn in a bed. This is an opportunity to get to know a couple of the most important buttons for Star Citizen. Holding the Y button is an option to get out of most beds, chairs, and seats in the game. Alternatively, holding the F key will allow you to interact with various items, menus, and buttons within the game, including opening doors, controlling elevators, boarding and exiting ships, and getting in and out of bed. Once you're out of bed, head out and explore the city. Each landing zone will have plenty of places to explore, including various shops, scenic views, bars, and more. Press the I key on your keyboard after purchasing something like armor, clothing, equipment, or weapons to open your inventory. To equip an item, drag and drop it onto your character model, or simply double-click. And if you end up with a messy inventory like mine, you can reduce the clutter by filtering items by type. Keep in mind that any items not carried on your person will remain at the location where you purchase them, unless you've manually moved them elsewhere. When you're done with exploring on foot and feel like leaving the planet, you'll need to find the tram to the spaceport. These are usually pretty easy to locate. Just look for the appropriate signs, hop on the tram, and take the ride from the city proper to the spaceport. At the spaceport, you will find terminals where you can spawn the ships you own at that location. Just interact with the terminal, select the ship you wish to retrieve, then find the elevators to head to the appropriate hangar. If the ship you want is not currently at your location, you'll need to claim it first. This will take some time depending on the ship. Once you've found your ship, hop inside and use the F button to search for the flight ready switch on your ship's console or just press R to avoid searching. Pressing F1 will open up your Moby Glass, from which you can access a variety of menus, as well as viewing personal stats, star maps, and more. Find the comms menu, go to friends, and call the spaceport so they can open the hangar doors for you. Alternatively, you can use the F key to interact with the screens inside your ship to find the comms display, and hail the spaceport from there. Remember that whenever you are approaching or leaving a spaceport, you will need to call the spaceport for them to open the hangar doors or prepare a pad. Failing to do so can result in fines and also cause them to impound your ship. Also accessible in the Mobiglass menu is the Contract Manager, 
which looks like a little clipboard. Here, you can look at the available jobs you can take to make some money within the game. The more you do a certain type of job, the better that category will pay. Star Citizen has a variety of gameplay loops that get progressively more complex as you delve deeper into the game. Some of the easiest missions to start out with will be bounties and box delivery missions. Though, depending on which ship you chose to start with, you may struggle to do these. The Mustang is better in combat, while the Aurora has more internal space for boxes. There are also FPS missions if you would prefer to run around on foot with a gun in hand. The Boarding in Progress mission is a particularly good one to check out if you are in the vicinity of Art Corp or Microtech, and the Hurston system usually has missions to clear enemies out of a bunker or a cave. Pressing F2 will open up your Moby Glass directly to the star map, where you can see where you are in the system as well as plot a course from planet to planet. Find a destination you'd like to head to, make sure you have enough fuel for the trip, and plot a course. Using the star map can be a little tricky at first with panning the system around and zooming in and out to find what you're looking for. Double clicking on things will often nicely reposition your view to that location to give you a better view of the area. Now let's leave the hangar. Pressing the spacebar will allow your ship to take off, and pressing N will retract your landing gear. Carefully guide your ship out of the hangar and head on up into space. You need to break out of the atmosphere before you can activate your quantum drive, so it may take a minute or two to get up there. Spool up your quantum drive by tapping B and align yourself to the triangle icon that should appear when you have plotted a course. When aligned, your drive will start to calibrate the jump. Hold your alignment and wait until it completes. Once the drive has finished calibrating, Hold B to quantum to your destination. In your travels around the verse, if you ever find that your ship is running low on ammunition or fuel, or has taken some damage due to combat or collision, you will need to head to a space station or planetary landing zone in order to refuel, rearm, and repair your ship. You can find space stations in any of the asteroid fields, such as Mikhail 1, Harel 2, etc. Additionally, most of the major planets will have an orbital station to land at, such as Port Olisar around Crusader, Bajini Point around Arcorp, or Port Tressler around Microtech. You can also buy upgrades for your ship components in-game for places such as Dumper's Depot on Art Corp or at Port Olisar, Center Mass and Omega Pro on Microtech, Cousin Crows at Orison, and various Platinum Bay shops found on most smaller stations around the system. Also, you can purchase new ships at the Astro Armada in Area 18, the Crusader Showroom at Orison, and the New Deal at Lorville. Depending on the model, a new ship can run you a pretty penny, so it might take some time to accrue enough money to buy them. Hopefully this guide has been helpful to anyone who is thinking about getting into Star Citizen, or who is returning to the game after a while and wants some help getting familiarized with the game. I will be making more guides like this, delving deeper into certain systems, mission types, gameplay loops, and more. So let me know what you guys would like to see me discuss in greater detail down in the comments. As I mentioned earlier, if you are new to the game, feel free to use my referral code when signing up to get an extra 5,000 credits to start with. I also have a Discord channel where we have a growing community of Star Citizen players, both veterans and noobs alike, who are always willing to help people just getting into the game. You can find the links for both of these down in the video description. A big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Saban, H. Kennet, Silverwolf, Ninja Waffle, Dragon Facilier, and Syra. Thank you all so much for your support. And thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the verse.